What's up Lokis? Thanks for tuning in. Today we have some things to talk about which we will talk about. First starting with how these people just stole my video title. If you don't know in January 2018 I started this video series called Talking War Robots. If you haven't watched it then don't even consider watching because it's very cringy. The first episode I titled it My Talking War Robots so it remains mine but they still stole it and I think they want to have beef with me or why would they do that. Not just the text, they even stole the emoji which I use in a lot of my titles. So what's the big idea about robots? Well the thumbnail is something original which says yeah science leech which I think is a reference to the famous Breaking Bad meme where Jesse Pinkman says yeah science, science bitch. bitch that one. Now before we move into the video content remember the video I made Another let's talk about video on the war robots show yourself that one. So I filled the form in that to take the roast from low to medium flames and guess what happened. I got this pop up saying thank you for showing yourself over rock sent you a Ravan and Nightingale. So yeah I actually <laughs> got a prize from that. Now I was expecting a little different result uh, which you will understand if you watch the video. I don't want to repeat what I said in that video. So yeah let's move on with this video now. Oh man. This is what they commented 10 minutes ago before they posted that video. So a normal person will think they are commenting the creeper meme because it's under the creeper battle royale video. But I think it has double meaning. Maybe they're trying to say like, oh man, you got owned, we stolen your video title. So yeah, I think it's that. Ben Bauman, why was the first Operation Pass so good and the second so bad? Operations are a new feature for us. We haven't done such things in the past and we're still searching for the best approach. The first season of Operations was in many ways focused on the new players. So players from Champion League completed it too fast. In the second season of Operations, we hear the sweet sport from the terms of progression. Whoever writes the script of this video needs to get fired because the question clearly says that was a bad change to make the progression tough. So he's just gonna write this answer, just one line answer. We hit the sweet spot in terms of progression. So yeah, to cover, oh wait, that's exactly why they hired him. The fourth season of Operations will bring a couple of more experiments, including mind-blowing remodels of Halo and Phantom. Just check them out. Is that like a personal attack or something? Okay, okay, now I see what they're trying to do. They first lure me in into their hellhole, stolen my video title, and trying to piss me with the fact that they're remodeling a phantom and not a Loki. It all connects now, they're trying to get back at me for all the roast videos I made on them, but guess what War Robots, it doesn't affect me at all. In fact, I think this model looks great. Uh, it's inspired by the Fortnite Galaxy skin I guess, because it is. And yeah, I admit their designers do a great job in all skins. It's just the people who handle the business ruin it every time. They will make it hard to get and hide behind those ridiculous paywalls. When are you gonna make Spanish bots and other are going to be Egyptian robots? First of all, we read all of your suggestions about new robots and weapons on Reddit, Facebook and other social media. Right now, we don't have Egyptian or Spanish robots in mind. Or do we? Though you've already seen the new Indian robot Ravana based on Indian mythology and we definitely don't want to stop there. Now I know why they do that, they add robots from different countries around the world, you know, inspired from their mythologies and any popular, you know, stories, uh, which is a good thing because a lot of game does that in this way like they try to make their players connect with their game. You know, because you feel good when you see outfits from your country in the game or in this case robots from your country in the game. Even musicians and almost every aspect. So you get the point, right? But in War Robots, since they so heavily monetize the robots in a shady way, I think that's not really a good way to make your player connect with your game. So here is a suggestion War Robots. How about adding servers for different region in that way people will be able to play without any lag issue or everything in good ping. You know because the ping we now get is definitely not good. It's probably only good for people who live near the server wherever it is. So if you really want to do it right this is one way to do it. What kind of food is best for Loki? Loki feeds on shouts like Get out of stealth, you little green mother. Fuck you say to me, you little 
shit! Okay, that's too far, man. Now that is a personal attack. You don't think I understand you're subliminally trying to call me a little green mother? You know what? Let's settle this for the boss. You know, let's let's just end all this subliminal diss and roast. Let's just go one on one on a rap battle if you really want to have a beef. Or we can go old school, you know, let's let's make the third biggest boxing event and let's settle this. Or if you're too scared, you know, maybe not mention Loki ever again. Rashid fed me. Why don't you make a rule that no one can have more than two same bots in a hangar? Honestly, I don't think it will balance the game, rather impose additional limitations on the players, as well as reduce tactical decisions and gameplay possibilities, so... Yeah, because this game is all about tactical decision and skills, right? That's what the game is about. Now really, whoever writes the script of this video always writes the worst answer, trying to defend what they're trying to do, like, yeah, they don't want to do that because you know that way people will not buy five meter robots and max them out so to defend it he writes the answer it will impose additional limitation and reduce tactical decision and gameplay possibilities because having five maxed meter robots increases tactical decision and gameplay possibilities they could have just said like people already have a lot of robots in the same hangar so it will be unfair for them because they have invested a lot but no, they come up with such awful answers that definitely not transparent at all and it totally ruins the purpose of this talking war robots series that they're trying to make. They want to have questions from around the community and answer them. So if this is how you're gonna answer it, like there's no point of the video. Not to mention how in the end he says so, so and makes so. that hand movement <laughs> like that was a very justified answer and then it cuts to the next question. John Ku, Stan. Can Pixonic stop creating new bots and weapons for at least half a year? We've got so many ideas in our backlog, so that if we stop for half a year, I'm afraid our designers and game designers will just blow up from the desire of creating something. By the way, we've just discussed Spanish robots and Egyptian robots. How can we make them if we stop? This is definitely a cherry pick question because the context behind this is like they release a lot of robots then the old one gets nerfed and the new one is so expensive so that's why people want the robots to you know not release so frequently but of course they cherry picked the question and answered very cleverly so yeah i will say script writer this time did a good job but again yeah it again goes to show how the purpose of this video is totally ruined Zoran Thessar, when are we going to get new maps? For this year, we plan two new maps. The first one, Factory, you've already seen on the test server in draft version. Whenever this map releases, the very first thing I will do is help that Butch get down because it's so disturbing to see him suffering like that. And it will come to the game in the first half of 2020. The second one is a community map. He said they teased it in the Cerberus video. Like, larger letters, please. Like, this big. Great. No one saw that coming, right? Sabir Abdi, when are we gonna have a voice chat feature in the game? We don't plan any chat features in 2020, so the best option is to use Discord. By the way, do you want us to share the most interesting and biggest Warrobes Discord channels on our official pages? If yes, tell us in the comments. Or maybe I can just tell you that it's this one named War Robots Players Forum User. It was shared in War Robots Wikia page. I can't tell you how many members there are, but it's very active. They have a lot of sections like announcement, introduction, giveaway and contest, and it's very active. As you can see, they have shared everything from Foggy, Adrian, even this uh, 100 Raman uh, giveaway. I don't know, it was special in Reddit, which I didn't know about, but as you can see, it's very active. So it's the one probably they're talking about. And it, there are also stand emojis. I will check myself. Okay, yeah, so this is the server I guess that they're talking about. I am not really active myself in that server. I just check my own server uh, whenever I open Discord, so yeah. Chris Thomas. How does the leech's ability work when it goes through walls, rocks and other structures? So this one is a lower question, I'm just going to cut it down. So he said like leech sends false information to other robot system that it's taking damage. Then the robot's diagnostic system tries to fix it and breaks trying to fix what's not broken because it's completely fine. So yeah, that's I think the whole answer. Caleb Mark General, how soon is cross-platform coming? <clears throat>
I'm happy to inform you that the cross-platform is one of the first features we want to implement in 2020. And then he says it's a complex feature which is understandable, so there are duplicates IDs and stuff like that, so it's gonna take time and that's the end of the video. There is, in my opinion, no more important questions. So out of this video, I think I just got one thing close to a meme material, this one. <laughs> I can use it as a transition at least. So with that I think the, this is the end of the video and the conclusion is as always Pixonic bad. Will they ever be good? Uh, stay tuned to you know what no they will never be good.